Namaste, everybody. Let's just have a sit. Put back straight. Just for a moment, cut off from everything, from past, from future. Just be in the present. Your body is always in the present, especially your breath. Just breathe in, breathe out. See if you can enjoy this simple present moment. Mm. In and out. Feel your body, feel your breath, be the breath. Thoughts are coming and going. Please don't wait for something. Grasp this present moment. If you are waiting for something, this present moment is slipping away. We are here to grasp, to seize the present moment, not waiting for the next moment. Even all our practice asanas, they are meant to teach you to hold the moment. Om Shanti 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 I like this much, I like this warming up very much. Let us go with it. Take two blocks. Put them side by side on your hips. It is really warming up the totality of the body. You need absolutely grip your core, otherwise it won't work. So you press. Dandasana. Hero, Dandasana, Hero. Let's go. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Press your hands on the blocks. Lift the butts up. Hang your pelvis. And drop. Okay, let's go to down facing dog.
nice leg up. Warrior number one. Downward. Crocodile. Hold a few seconds. Upward. Exhale downward. Virabhatrasana. Uttanasana. Release your lower back. Spine. Lengthen. Lengthen. Hands on the floor. Chaturanga. Open the abdomen, throat, chest. Exit downward. Right leg forward. Anjaneyasana. Drop the left knee. Stretch your arms. Downward. Chaturanga. Upward. Exhale downward. Left leg forward. Anjali Asana. Rise me on the floor. Stretch your arms to the ceiling. And exhale. Uttans. Grab your ankles again. See if there is any difference between the first and second one. Hands on the floor, jump to Chaturanga. Upward. Exhale downward. Jump to Uttanasana between your two hands. Let's go do in the length of your man. Split your feet, almost three feet, and go on opening back all the legs. If you can drop forehead on the mat, drop the forehead on the mat. Relax, lengthen, relax, let go, relax, let go. Your left hand, right hand comes to the left outside of your left foot. Get nice twist. Your foot is against your hand. Suck up the linen and come to this variation of triangle. Suck abdomen, lift the sh shoulders vertical, release the back. Inhale, left hand goes outside of the right foot. Bring out your abdomen close to your thigh muscles. Twist. Inhale, release, come back. Running forehead against, again close to the mat. Lift your head up. Either with or without block. Put your hand, right hand on the block. And lift the left arm to the ceiling, twist. Focus your eyes on your left arm. And come down. Change. Drop the left hand. Your right arm goes 180 degree to 
the ceiling. Focus your eyes on your right arm. And then come back. Move to Pass walk to Anasana. Ideally, you move to the right side. Drop the chest almost on your leg if it is possible. See if you can lift your right foot up toes up and slide the block under your foot. It really becomes very intensive. Take away, lift the left leg up. Point your left toes to the ceiling. Either two hands, one foot, one hand, one foot, or one foot. So grab your right ankle while you point your left toes to the ceiling. Please go back to Parsavottanasana. Move to downward facing dog and bring left leg forward. Try to drop your chest on your left leg now. Exhale, go down. Lift the metatarsal and drop your block on the your left foot. Stay for a moment in the ultimate extension of hamstrings. Take away the block, move on the left foot, immediately point right toes to the ceiling. Two hands again, one foot. One hand, one foot. Very slowly find your center and stand on one foot. Hands on the floor, downward facing dog. Now what are you going to do is uh, half lotus downward facing dog. You bend uh, right foot, right leg, put it at the root of your left leg. So your right foot is in half lotus and you are doing downward facing dog. Go down without affecting and upward facing dog. In other words, it means your right leg is functioning totally independent. So the other movement must not affect the position of your right leg. I'm going up, my leg remain where it is. Change. Drop right, bring left. Half lotus. 
Downward facing dog. Upward facing dog, you drop. Go up, lift the chest. Ideally, if you have a full flat foot on the floor, it is good. Exhale, downward facing dog. And change, come down. Okay. Now we are going to do sideway again with half lotus. So, half lotus with foot. And you are on right hand and right foot while the other foot is in half lotus. Change. Inhale up. Grab, make it half lotus, and then come at the edge of your left foot, Downward facing dog. Let us relax for a moment. Lift the right, throw the left leg on top of your mat. Relax your arms, palms facing to the ceiling. Relax for a moment. Now take your hands at the back of your legs, not sideways, but you can even grab, which try to make sticky your hands to be able to pull your head behind the hips. Now, put your hands on the floor, bend your knees, sit on your elbows, drop your knees on your elbows, on your triceps. Point your toes, make your back flat, stretch your legs. Just hold a few seconds and go back. Drop your feet on the floor. Crown of the head on the floor. Go once more. So, hands on the floor and your knees. The moment you bend your knees, already your quadriceps are going to touch, uh, hamstrings are going to touch your triceps. Very slowly. Find your balance on your hands. And jump again. Stand on your feet. Feel your hands strong, warm. And move to Parsvottanasana, the right side. Drop the left leg, left knee on the floor.
see how low you can go down. So now if you are ready, your triceps is close to your adductor of your right leg. You slide under your leg. Put the weight more, more and more on your hand, right hand rather than right foot. See what happens. Go under and lift. Just to stay here. Try to work out this. Push. Kick. Come down. Once more. Put the weight on your elbow. Lift the foot up. Come down. All fours on the mat. Come with the left leg. Take your time. Let your adductor of your left leg just let go. Then you feel that your triceps, left tricep, is ready to go under your back of your left leg. And then put your hand on the floor, discharge the weight from your left foot. Just press it down, left and down, lift and put back. Down on facing dog. Right leg up. With left hand, grab your left ankle. Release and change. Left leg up, right hand grab, right ankle. You are in one hand, one foot down or facing down. Move to dolphin, drop your elbows, hold the block eventually. Stay in dolphin. Go on pulling abdomen in, tailbone up, push the heels down. I'm opening my armpits, pressing my elbows down on the mat. And opening armpits. And come down. If you are ready to get to go to pincha mayorasana against the wall, use the wall. Go to against wall to pincha mayorasana. Elbows on the mat, feet up. If you don't have wall, doesn't matter. We do something else.
imitation of lifting your legs up. If you can go up, go up. Otherwise, down. Left leg up. Push right heel on the mat. Lift toes to the ceiling and come down. All right. Let us go to this as if you want to do peacock, but we are not going to do If you can do peacock, do it. Otherwise, no need. Just enjoy. Fingers open. Small fingers, they touch each other. Knees apart. Take deep inhalation and exhalation. Bring your elbows. Lift up and come down. Lift your knees up. And come down. Three times is enough. Exhale. Go down and come down. Just wonderful posture gives you heat. The other version is with the blocks, also, we can do with the blocks. We'll do next time. Okay. Sitting hero, appreciate for a moment what you experience. Get out of waiting room. Experience your fire. Don't miss this fire. Let's get ready for a variation of Hanumanasana. What you can do is take a blanket, put the right foot, right heel on it. We are not going to do full version, just half version is enough. So, make sure that your pelvis is doesn't, doesn't change position. The moment you become like this, it is done. There is no more Hanumanasana in it. Hanumanasana is, rarely your pelvis remain horizontal, one leg forward, one leg backward. Your position of pelvis doesn't change in 45 degree. It remains totally square. So, by holding your hands, putting your hands on the block, you measure how far I can go down. If it is not going, and you are going to compensate by twisting your pelvis, don't go. It is wrong. If the knee at the back is painful, slip something under your shin bone or under the knee. Take your time, let your left quadriceps open and your right hamstrings as well. 
and then your navel is facing your right toe and you are going down. The moment your navel is no more facing your big toe going 45 degree, it means you have lost an omen. It takes time, but it comes. Very slowly, come back. Change. Put the left and go down. If you feel that you are on the limit, don't push. Take your time. What am I doing here? I'm using the blocks, lifting chest up and dropping leg on the floor. Slowly come back. Sit in hero position. Virasana. Drop your hands on your lap. Be the fire, feel the fire. Take a blanket. You will need one strap also. So, right leg, bring it forward. And take the strap, wrap around your left. Starting by leaving your left leg full stretch on the floor. What am I doing here is opening my armpits, working out upper part of the body. Means chest. If you need a block, sit on the block. Look at ceiling. Just open. And look at ceiling. Step number one, number two, bend the knee and take your hands lower and lower, arch your back, walk with your fingers on the strap until you reach your toes. If it is not coming, don't force.
with the left leg forward. You can keep here 45 or 40, 50 degree, it doesn't matter. If you need a block, sit on a block. And then wrap around your right ankle. Now, first stretch your leg. If you have a long leg, you better change the position. So if you have long legs, this is how you can do it. So make lengthen a little bit your this is how you can there we go. Work out from the navel up to your throat. Next step, bend, point your toes to the ceiling. Come to this frog. Usually, frog position also can relieve your tens on the lower back. Just relax, forehead. frog you must be careful that the angle of your leg according your trunk must be 90 degree if it is fully a little bit 110 you are no more in the frog this is open you have 110 120 or if it is close 70 degree you are not in the frog neither it is really 90. And slowly come back. to do nice Hashimottanasana. Either a block or pad, whatever. Blanket also is good. Sit on it. Toes up. Lean forward. Try not the idea of leaning forward doesn't mean drop immediately your head by bending your spine. No. 
Bring first your abdomen and your thigh muscles. And then, work her is bending forward. With your two fingers, grab your big toes. If you are comfortable, Interlace your fingers. So with one of these twisting, so you are bending your right leg, heel goes near your cranium, and the left foot comes just above your right knee. Left right arm, press outside of your left knee. And then twist. Go on twisting. It is not passive posture. You go into the posture and you work out. Actually, your action starts when we believe that it is over. So I take the posture. Once I believe that I am in the posture, then I start to walk. Release and change. Left or the right, your left elbow goes outside of the left knee. With exhalation, get into the posture and then start to give massage to your intestine. Lay on your back. Have a nice journey. Go for relaxation. Lift your legs up several times, drop them on the floor, feel that they don't belong to you. They don't belong to you neither, your arms. Just another several times, head up, down, drop it. Head doesn't belong to you neither. Lift chest up, hold the spine up and throw it on the mat. There we go. This body I am not.
Thoughts are coming. I am not. Starting by relaxing facial muscles. Forehead, eyelids, cheeks, lips, tongue. And make sure that they are truly relaxing and it is not something you simply go away. That's why in yoga we say you must be honest with the body. Ears can listen, but mind says it doesn't matter. I know what he's talking about. Don't fall in the trap of such comment. Repeat several times, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going on the spot and examine it with my awareness. That will be much more correct than saying I know. And attention moves to the neck muscles, shoulders, all the way down to your arms, hands, Wherever it goes, your attention, the body feels safe and relaxed. Especially love. Love is the key in this journey. Love and trust. If I don't have love and compassion to the body, your body feels it. But if you lie down, your visualization that your attention is like, like love touch, healing hands. You are becoming more and more aware of your body. Your body feels safe and loved. goes to the chest. Just notice the movement in and out. And most of the abdomen, lower abdomen. Be aware of the movement with every exhalation. The sacrum is coming closer to the Mother Earth. As you exhale, the sacrum comes to the Mother. Notice that the life is a cycle. Everything is coming, everything is going. There is no end. And the attention moves to the hips, back of the legs, up to your feet, toes. The body is totally relaxed. Thoughts, they are coming and going without affecting the body. 
full detachment from thoughts. You might have experienced your home, your holy and sacred place. It's not a sleeping state. It is totally awareness and holy place within. You are aware of it. Find back your breath. Be grateful, thankful to your experiences, cherish them with your heart. And take a few deep breaths, stretch the body, more to the right side when you feel ready. And start to open your eyes and come and sit. Join palms together, take deep inhalation. these experiences there is nothing else to do than cultivating cultivating without goal that is very important don't cultivate with a goal yoga is goalless cultivation because you are doing it for the divine and divine doesn't need any goal it is goal itself so it will come one day when you are not there even, when you are not waiting anything. It will appear always like that. It comes when you are not expecting anything, like children. Okay, hope you enjoyed. If you like this session, don't forget subscribe, like, share, because these are videos that 
we can spread them like a flower, hmm? like, like a gift. Okay. Any question? You know what to do. You can write. I'll see you soon.